What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit for Mechanical Design uh, Professional Certification Preparation. Okay, so this time we are still on annotation. So we are going to talk about uh, keynotes. Okay, so that's the exercise. So we are going to place keynotes and then I'm going to show you how to create uh, note blocks. Okay. So, just a bit of a background on the keynotes. A keynote uh, parameter is available for all model elements. So, that includes the detail components and materials. So, you can tag each of these elements using a keynote tag uh, family. So, you can use the keynote tag family in Revit or if you want, you can create your own. So, the keynote value is derived from a separate uh, text file that contains a list of keynotes. Okay, so what's the purpose of the keynote? So, the keynotes is to enable the reader to determine where to find each item's requirements uh, in the specifications. Okay, so let's try to create a keynote here. So, to create a keynote, so let's go check the annotate tab and then from here you can see from the tag panel you can see there the keynote okay so you can click the drop down arrow on our keynote here so let's click that and then let's see the settings here the keynote uh keynoting settings okay so here's the keynoting settings so as you can see here's my keynote table uh, file location okay so it's already loaded actually so i was able to use it a while ago so it's now it's here so you can uh, browse if you want to relocate or to use another uh, keynote okay if you have your own keynote so you can use that and then you can put it here on the file location and then you can also view that so you can click the view and then you can see here now the keynotes that is on that particular text file okay the other option here is reload Okay, so if you have that, so you can just uh, reload. So I'll just select your OK. And then for the file path, so it's absolute numbering method is by uh, Keynote. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use, the default settings. So I'm going to select your uh, OK. So just select OK. And then we are now going to uh, select a Keynote here. So if I'm going to select, let's say, for example, this equipment here. So I'm going to select this, okay, and then I'm going to select property. So this is uh, mechanical equipment, so that's my mechanical equipment. So be aware that uh, the model elements have a keynote parameter, okay? So if I'm going to select edit type here and then look for the keynote, so move the slider down until we see the keynote. So there's the keynote here. So keynote, so you can click that and then you can click the more option button here. So you can click that one and then we are now going to apply what's the keynote for this uh, equipment. So I'm going to select the mechanical here on the 1500 series. So click the expand there and then I think that will going to be my heating, ventilating and air conditioning equipment. So HVAC equipment. So I'll select 15700 to assign that. A keynote and then I'm going to select here uh, okay and there you go so there's now the keynote so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the element keynote so where is that element keynote so I want to add a tag here so I'm going to select okay and then from the uh, annotate so there's my keynote Okay, so I'm going to select that. So I'm going to use here element uh, keynote. So we are going to place a keynote tag with a specified keynote reported in our tag. So element keynote. So I'm going to click this. So you have an option here just like a normal tagging. So you, if you want to have a leader or if you don't want to have a leader, just tick that one. You can specify the position of your keynote here. It's either horizontal, vertical, or model. And then the other one here is if it is a leader checked, so you have an attach end or free end. So I'll just use attach end option here and then I'll place the tag here. Attach end and then let's place it. There you go. And then I'll select modify, modify to terminate it. 
all right so something like that so there's now my keynote for that okay so the next thing that we'll be doing is we're going to activate the user keynote tool and then we are going to click let's say for example an air terminal here so this is the air terminal so from the keynote again so let's use a uh, user keynote okay so I'm going to select this one and then uh, I'll use here let's say attach end again and then I'm gonna place it here so when a keynote is placed a keynote is not reported just like your uh, element keynote here but a keynote dialog opens to select a keynote here okay so I'm going to assign that to 1500 as well and then I'm going to move the slider down I'll look for uh, air distribution so expand the 15800 series and then I'll look for uh, air outlets and inlets expand that and I am going to apply that here diffuser and then I'll select OK there you go all right so it's tidy up oops close modify modify let's tidy up our model there you go okay so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a keynote legend so this because this is also part of your examination so for the keynote legend so you can go to the uh, view tab and then look for legends here so you can see the keynote legend another um, way to create the keynote legend is by going to the project browser move the slider down and then right click the legends here so right click a uh, new keynote legend so you have two options so either this option here or this option here okay so keynote legend and then specify the name of the keynote legend and then after that just select ok so now on my keynote legend properties I'll be using the two default uh, settings here or the two default uh, fields for my keynote so I'll just select here ok and there's now my keynote keynote uh, legend okay there's my keynote legend so as you can see it's uh, showing now here the two keynote tag that I have placed on my model the 15700 series the HVAC equipment and 15850.1 uh, diffuser okay and then another thing that I would like to show to you guys is to create a note block okay so note block so to do that so let's go again to our schedule so let's look for the view uh, legend ah oh, no sorry it's on the legend so schedules let's right click the schedule it's not on the legend but it's on schedule right click that and then select new note block okay so note block is a schedule of a uh, generic annotation okay so let's uh, select note block Again, you can specify the name of your note block and then just select your OK. All right. So here on my note block uh, properties, I'm going to select here a uh, label, double click label, and then double click the note. Okay. And then after that, so just select your OK. And this will create a new note block schedule. Okay. So this is the two generic uh, label that we have for our note block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the note block. So from the properties, I'm going to edit the sorting and grouping here. All right. So from the sorting and grouping, I'm going to sort it by uh, label. And then I do not want to itemize every instance. Okay. 
So we have here label, sort by label, and then I do not want to itemize every instance. And then I'm going to select here, okay? So you will see now here the note block updates to only show one listing for each note block based on the label parameter, okay? So basically, this is how your uh, keynote and uh, note block works. So that's a very simple exercise. So I hope you have learned something in this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.